Yes, we are indeed. In fact, this young man is an actor, a singer, a writer, and a producer based in LA, but very much proudly South African. His career was jump started by an initiative called Applause Rising Talent Showcase, better known as Arts. And he's also joined this morning by the uh, regional director of Arts South Africa, Alcee B. Ferlinden. Thank you very much for being here this morning, guys. Thank you it's so much. Good especially so friends. early. Especially so early. <laughs> Gina, when I look at your your resume, man, the, the, the achievements you've had performing for so many big artists, this award, that award, you've done a lot. You. And right now, you're only 20 years old, right? Right? Yep, 20. Wow. So when did you first decide that you want to be a performer? You know that this is the world you want to go in, other than the fact that you discovered you had great hair. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, as an artist and as a musician, I've always been in love with music since I was a young child. And um, at the age of 12, I told my mom I wanted to start a band. I wow. want to start a band, baby. Okay. So um, <laughs> I was in a band in high school, and things were cool. We were kind of a small band. We entered a couple of competitions, but I went serious in 2010. Uh -huh. We entered a national competition in South Africa, which I won. And from there, my solo career started. Absolutely. And things just started happening. I met this wonderful woman, Elsa B. Yeah. And through her, I was able to you know, broaden my scope of what I was able to do acting, not just singing, acting, modeling, dancing. And you're and writing for some major companies out there. We'll talk about that later. But also, um, what has been one of your biggest projects that you've been involved in so far, would you say? For my music, I would say that my, my biggest performance would probably be the Apollo Theatre in New York City. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That was a dream. My Definitely word. a dream come true. And obviously, perform. arts played quite a big role in this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I was scouted by LCB to perform at the ITS, which is the International Talent Showcase in Johannesburg a couple of years ago, and through that I was able to go to America to perform mm -hmm. at the Arts Convention in yeah. Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Give us a bit more information on exactly what arts is and what it does to help young, uh, talented youngsters make their way into the world of, of, of entertainment. You know, um, the International Arts Talent Showcase is a platform that I created um, alongside an amazing team at Just You Model and Artist Management, where we actually wanted to break the gap and just br make a bridge between South Africa and America, allowing local actors, singers, models and dancers international opportunities. Hmm. So we travel through all nine provinces in South Africa. I've got an amazing team that travels with me. On the 2nd of July at the Grand West Casino, yeah. we'll be doing auditions in Cape Town. Okay. So Cape Town will definitely be able to come and showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. And then through the local opportunity and the platform that we create for local artists, they ultimately get international opportunities. So it's a platform that allows an international talent scout named Kim Myers to mm -hmm. come to South Africa. And she then selects the young, talented individuals like Gino Lee himself, yeah. invites them to the United States of America, um, asks us in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. And then she brings in agents, managers, producers, cast and directors, and record labels from Asia, Europe, and the United States. So it's a full seven-day convention where Tyler Perry Studios, Disney, Nickelodeon, <laughs> 20th Century Fox, uh, True that, Model Management. What? So oh, agents yeah. for models, actors, singers and dancers come to the seven day event. It's like a human buffet. Yeah. <laughs> agents, can, uh, yeah. agents can just have great yeah, fun way scouting and finding talent. Gino Lee had 18 callbacks oh, at goodness. the arts. Um, he had too many callbacks for us to actually get to. Mm -hmm. So um, too much interest was That's shown amazing. in Gino Lee. And a lot of what he achieved was that it came from that platform. Yeah. And um, Gina graduated from the New York Film Academy. Uh -huh. He got a partial scholarship. He didn't Boom. tell you that. <laughs> Get in there, son. So as a singer, he also wanted to um, have acting background, yeah, you know, yeah. like a solid education. So yeah. at the New York Film Academy, he studied, he did a year there. Listen, That's where I tell you what, I mean, I, we're going to chat to Gino but yes. later on about yeah. his successes. But if you want to get in touch and know all about this, email it's artsafrica at gmail.com or you can also give them a call on 011-039-2481. I'll say that number one more time. 011-039-2481. Thank you so much to Thank both of you so for much. being here this morning. Dude, can't wait to hear you perform. It's yeah, going to be amazing. <laughs> but right Thank now, let's you. go traveling.